right, folks, let's dive into something that's on many of our hearts. How to know God's will. I know it can feel overwhelming, but today we're going to break it down with some biblical insights. First, let's talk about God's sovereign will. This is God's ultimate plan, one that will come to pass no matter what. It's like the master blueprint of the universe. Think of Ephesians 1.11, where Paul writes, In him we were also chosen, having been predestined according to the plan of him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will. God's sovereign will is unchangeable, and it's not something we can alter. It's all about his ultimate plan for creation. Now, let's move on to God's prescriptive will. God's prescriptive will refers to the commands and teachings in the Bible that guide how we should live. It's like a roadmap for righteous living. Consider Micah 6, 8. He has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. These are the instructions God has given us to follow. So, how do we discern God's will for our lives? First, immerse yourself in scripture. The Bible is God's word, and it's where he reveals his will. Psalm 119, 105 says, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. By reading and meditating on the Bible, we align our hearts with God's desires. Next, prayer is crucial. James 1-5 tells us, if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Through prayer, we seek God's guidance and wisdom for our specific situations. It's also important to seek godly counsel. Proverbs 15 to 22 states, plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors they succeed surround yourself with mature Christians who can provide biblical wisdom and discernment. Lastly, pay attention to the Holy Spirit's leading. Romans 8.14 reminds us, For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. The Holy Spirit dwells within us and guides us in making decisions that align with God's will. Let's briefly discuss the dangers of stepping outside of God's will. When we stray from his commands, we open ourselves to unnecessary hardships and consequences. Proverbs 14, 12 warns, There is a way that appears to be right, but in the end it leads to death. Walking in God's will brings peace and fulfillment, while deviating from it leads to turmoil and regret. Remember, knowing God's will is a journey. It involves daily seeking Him through scripture, prayer, and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Trust in His sovereign plan and follow His prescriptive will faithfully. All right, that's all for today. Stay blessed and keep seeking His will in every aspect of your life. Until next time.